Hey, Shalom. 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 We are here today again to preach out this truth. You know, this is the year of hastening of the truth. And through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, we are out here doing this, hastening the time of, his, of the coming of His Son. So before we start this lesson, we would like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Mukakwadash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in this, you know, in these perilous times to push this truth, you know, in truth and sincerity. Also, shall I want to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. You know, we are the GMS Italia camp and we are out here, you know, screaming out loud and warning the people just like the scriptures have told us to do, you know, like the book of Ezekiel tells you, you know, the great, um, it says, um, it says, um, speak out loud, blow a trumpet, you know, be ye a watchman, you know, so we are all watchmen for the house of Israel to warn Israel on what's about to come. So this lesson is actually going to be based on a, on a, on a precept, you know, that I got from, from the elder Manatha Zak. Another Zach Bar of the of the main camp, you know. So we're going to start reading from the book of um, First Peter, chapter four. Then we'll go through. Then through the spirits, we we'll come up with different precepts. Okay. So let's do it, man. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as, as, as Yahushai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Fine. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring out the scripture in the, in the new, let's see, in a different translation which is the NLT. Okay? Leave it, don't worry, there's no, there's no hot. I'm going to bring it out in the NLT and we'll see what it says. So in the NLT it says, so then since Yahweh Shai suffered physical pain, you must arm yourselves with the same attitude he had and be ready to suffer too. For if you have suffered physically for Yahweh Shai, you are finished with sin, okay? So as Yahweh Shai has suffered, you know, we are definitely going to suffer as well. You know, there is the scripture that tells you that um, the servant is not greater than the master, you know? So it says, for if you have suffered physically for Yahweh Shai, you are finished with sin, you know? And this scripture is really deep, you know, it speaks about a lot of things, you know? Because the mindset of Jake right now is, you know, is that of, you know, um, of, of, of finding a kind of comfort in this kingdom in which he would never find a comfort in this kingdom because comfort is going to come when Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, returns and restores everything to normal, okay? In this wicked kingdom that we're living now, you know, governed by the wicked, the so-called white men, you know, all you can get is wickedness, okay? So we've, we have to suffer all these things by refusing what this devil has to offer. You know, these are really perilous times now because, you know, lots of people are losing their jobs. You know, these are parts of the sufferers we're going to suffer. People are going to come against us, our family members, our friends. They're going to think we're crazy people, you know. Go on. Verse 2. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the loss of men, but to the will of Yahweh. Can. So once you get into this truth, you know, through the grace of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you need to leave all those past lives that you're living, you know, all those your fleshly desires, you know, careers, you know, money making and all sort of crazy things. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing to make money, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be your, shouldn't be your main objective, you know. So the scripture lets us understand that, you know, the root of uh, money, the root, um, the love of money is the root of all evil, you know. So many, many people, they give all their life, you know, into that money, into money making, you know. All they care about is, 
All they care about is making money, you know? So read it again, read it again. Okay. Verse 2. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the loss of men, but to the will of Yahweh. And so what is the will of will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai? The will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you can get that. You can get that in the book of Ecclesiastes. Read it for me, please. The will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you can get that in Ecclesiastes, you know. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 13, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Bashin Yahushai and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. And that's the whole duty of man. That's the will of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We should fear him and keep his commandment, you know. So once you come into this truth, you know, there is definitely going to be striping times that are going to come, perilous times that are going to come to try you, you know. Just like we, we were teaching the other time, the last, I think, a couple of weeks ago. You know, the most I hear about Yahushai will try you, you know. So you need, to, you need to stop living according to the flesh. And you see, the main thing that is getting many people into trouble, especially in this kingdom that we're living now, in these past times, last tight days that we're living in now, is just because, for, because of the loss of their flesh, man. They don't want their flesh to suffer, man. They can't endure, you know. So they give in to whatever the, the enemy has to offer, you know, by losing all the promises and great will that the Most High has bestowed upon us, okay? So this is wickedness, you know. So read that verse again, please. Okay. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the loss of man, but to the will of Yahweh. Can. We need to live according to the will of the Most High, just like we read, you know, obeying his commandments. Uh, and doing his works, you know, with the best for the with the best of our abilities, you know. So let's go on, verse three. Verse three. For the time past of our time may suffice of our us. Life. Sorry. For the past, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walk in the lasciviousness. 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 Oh. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Okay. Lasciviousness, lost access to wine, revealing banqueting, revealing banqueting, revealing banqueting, and abominable, and abominable idolaters. Can okay. So all these things are the things that we were living in the past life. It should be enough for us. Now I'm going to read it in the in the new in the NLT. He quotes. He quotes. You have had enough in the past. Of the evil things that goodless, that godless. Okay, he said you have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy. So we have had enough of all these things while we're in, in, in the past life of our sins, you know. This is the time to, 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 to man up, you know. You can't, how should I put it? You can't be on the same position all the days of your life, you know. When you leave certain things, you need to make a next step and leave other things you know we've lived all this wickedness in the past drunkenness idolatry you know parties and terrible worship of idols you know so now is the time to man up you know now is the time to man up it's not the period in which you need to be at your ease and and you know take everything like everything is still the same and nothing is going to change all of a sudden you get destroyed man you know so this is the time that we need to leave all these things. Now, if we go, I want to see the root word of um, I want to see the root root word of um. But I don't have lasciviousness. <laughs> lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Want to dump idols, you know? Yeah. 
can I want to see the word, you know, abominable there, you know, which says, contrary to the law and justice, profaned by law, illicit criminal, you know. So anything that the law abhors, we should, we should, we should leave it, man. It says, um, light and darkness cannot cannot work together, you know. Light and darkness cannot work together. So once you come into this truth, you know, you're expected to suffer, you know, because our 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 master, Yahweh Shai, who is greater than all of us, you know, he suffered, so we are also going to suffer in the flesh, you know. So we shouldn't give heed to the loss of the flesh, you know, and we should skip away from every abominable thing, you know, that's going to prevent us from getting into the kingdom. So keep reading. If you have anything to add, you can always add, you know. Okay, I have a piece of Go. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Can. It is self explaining. You should put away the former man, you know, according to corruption. That's exactly what that verse is speaking about. Read that verse again. That you put off concerning the former conversation of old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Can. because at a point of our life we were all carried away by this deceitful lust man brothers wanted to be the best rappers brothers wanted to be the next millionaires you know we were all carried away by this deceitful lust that Esau has you know and that's all Esau has you know a, a moment of pleasure you know a moment of pleasure then all of a sudden you know destruction comes you know so we have all you know we've gone through all this thing in in some ways because before coming into this trove the scripture tells us that, you know, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So we have all sinned, we've all fallen short of this glory, you know, now that we're coming back, even there is the book of, um, is it Baruch 4, 1 that tells you, you know, as you have, um, as you have, mind, you have seen, when as you come back, can, when you seek come back, seek the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai 10 times more, you know, this is what you should be doing, seeking the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai 10 times more. And the Spirit has been on the Apostle Taha lately, you know, warning every brother in, in, in each camp you know it's a heavy spirit man you know that spirit is warning you that you know hey this is not the time you should be lukewarm this is not the time you should be you should be, you should be, you should be relaxing this is not the time you should be messing around man we are working for we are working for the, <laughs> for, king, of the for the king of the universe man <laughs> we're working for the king of the universe man man when you're working for bear men in this kingdom when you see your bosses you tend to be respectful and everything then talk less of the king of the universe the person that created your boss that created you and everything man you know but working for the king of the universe so you should have a different kind of approach you know with the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai is never mocked man he sees every of your thing everything you do in the dark he sees everything you know you shouldn't be messing around with the most high. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is terrible, man. He sees every damn thing you do. Go on. Okay. Verse 4. We are in. We are in. They think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you. Can. What that scripture is saying is when you come out of this wickedness, you know, all this idolatry, excess drunkenness and philosophies, madness and all sort of things when you live that life they start seeing you strange they start thinking that you're strange man you know and what what what, what does that bring they start speaking evil about you you know and this happens to every brother that comes into this truth you know once you come into this truth once you come into this truth you know People, people start saying you're strange because you're not the same person you used to be. You know, the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai starts dwelling in you. So what happens? People, because you know, where is that scripture? Give me that scripture that says, you know, they are of the world. They speak of the world. Is it, is it um, John 5? You know? Because the, these people are of the world, man. You know? So they can't see things of light. They don't understand things of light, you know? They see something drastically different, you know. And what do they do? They speak evil about you, you know, because you're not, you're not like them, you know. 
I don't know if this car is the one we are looking for, but let me read it. You say, Thanks. You say that. Uh, it is. No, I think there's some verses earlier. Can't. No. Wait, let me see if there is something else at the beginning. Can't. Because there is a scripture I was actually looking for. Yeah, I know the scripture, but let me read it first. So, Can it's John chapter 319. Sorry. Go. John 319. So we shouldn't change the the saying it's a good scripture anyway. So when you come into this truth, what they do is they speak evil of you, you look strange to them, you know. Okay, this is John chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the commandment. Sorry. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because they are these we are evil. Can you see? This is the condemnation that comes into the world, you know. They love, they've seen light because when you come into this truth, they get to see that light through you, you know. Because, you know, the scripture says, let that light shine so the world can see, you know. That truth is the light that shines through you. But these people, they love darkness. They, they love to hide behind their wicked deeds, behind their lawlessness, behind the evil that they do. So they don't come out into the truth. They don't want the truth. You see, they see everything strange. They love darkness. So what do they do? They speak strange of you. You know? So don't, don't be surprised when all these things happen to you, you know. The scripture tells us that once, once you're persecuted for this truth, man, you should count it, count it happy, man. The apostles, when they were persecuted, sent into prisons, you know, they came out happy, you know. Because the scriptures, yeah, our Messiah has already said all these things that they surely must come to pass. So if you're, if you're catching hell in this kingdom, it means that you're on the right path. If you're not catching hell in some way or the other, if, you're, if everything is just good for you, man, you should start checking yourself because that's not what the scripture says, you know? People are definitely going to speak evil about you. First of all, those of your family, you know, a man's fool are those of his family, you know? Your families, your colleagues, like over here in Italy now, you know, many of us, we, we have to leave our jobs, you know? Our colleagues who are in the world who are not seeing the lights that we see, they see, they think that we're crazy. They think we don't know what we're doing, you know? They see it strange. And what do they do? They speak evil of us. Keep reading. Okay, I have a precept. Go. This is First John chapter 4, verse 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that, that is in the world. world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. Ah. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby yeah, know you the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Han, you want to speak on it? Yeah, just like what you are saying, you know, what the brother was saying. When you come out of the world, you know, your family, colleagues, you know, people around you, they start seeing you strange, you know, speaking ill of you. You know, so the scripture is letting us know that it, it, it is normal because they are going to speak the things they knew of. Why we are going to speak the things of we knew? You know, because uh, according to scripture, know. scripture said that we have put away the old oh, man. Old things, yeah, old things. Old things have passed away. You know, behold, new things. So they don't understand what we are saying. They don't know the time, like we read before, knowing the will of the heavenly Father. You know, the will of the heavenly Father is is to set up the uh, uh, the righteousness here on the planet Earth. You know, Yahweh shall say that uh, uh, let your will be done in heaven, as it is. I mean, let your will be done on earth, earth as, it as it is in heaven. This is the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, how do we do that? He lay, he lay up uh, 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 a rule for us, which is the commandment, and it is given only to the children of Israel. So this is the way. The will is we got to learn what the rule is in order to live, to have everlasting life, which we have failed. You know? So, can. So as the brother is just trying to explain, you know, the Most High has given us pure laws, you know, that are going to govern our steps, you know. Just like some days ago, you know, um, you know, there's a video going around in, is it on Instagram or TikTok, you know, where the brother was breaking it down. I think the other Apostle Gabba did a lesson on it, you know, where we started finding out the reason why we shouldn't put on mixed fabrics, you know. Yeah. These are laws that are really heavy, you know. The Most High has kept them for a reason. 
but saying that men love darkness and they hate light, they put away these laws, you know? So let's keep reading. So this is first Peter. Continue. First Peter 4, verse 5. Who shall give account of him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Can. So it says, who shall give a account, account okay to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead because you know at the return of our messiah yahweh shai hey what's this well i lost my train of thought but um uh, you say uh, who shall give account of him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead for for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead okay that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to Yahweh Shem Yahushai. A good precept from this is the book of um, is the book of Ezekiel, when the Most High told Ezekiel, prophesy unto these dry bones, you know, because at, at the period of our life we were all dead, you know. Without this truth, you're dead. Now, if, if you yeah, can get that, that's that, another that, one. There's another one in Revelation. Even Revelation, uh, Revelation too, 11. and it says they are dead bodied light in the yeah. in the streets. So let me get it. Get it, get so, it, get it. This is Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight. And their dead bodies, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, that city is speaking of America. Okay. America is the spiritual Sodom and Egypt, you know, the land of, um, of, 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 um, of captivity. And America is just like an octopus with eight tentacles, you know. It has spread its tentacles to all parts of Europe and all the rest of the world. So you can say America is the governing power of the world right now, you know. So America, you can say America is also is still referring to Italy here because they all work hand in hand. You know, yeah, they are, they are connected. They are they're the all beast. connected to the beast. You know, they give their power to the beast, which that beast is the system. You know, this the ancient Roman system. Okay, keep reading. Okay, we are also our Lord was crucified. Can it says our dead bodies were, were 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 lying dead in that in that city where our Lord was also crucified. They keep crucifying our Lord Yahushai every day by coming up with wicked laws rules okay with every commandment that they make that goes against the commandments of the most high yahweh Hashem Shai. that's why the most high needs to come and destroy this place man this place is filthy you know the man of sin is being revealed and what 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 he has been revealed for is he has made a new law you know to go against the commandments of the most high yahweh Hashem Shai. everything the most high yahweh Hashem Shai says it does something contrary to that if the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai makes laws that man shouldn't sleep with man, man shouldn't sleep with beast, this man promotes all these things. And you that you're against these things, you're being crucified. You know? Go, read. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the most high, and shall wear out the scent of the most high, and take to change the times and laws, and they, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a time and the dividing of time can and he has succeeded in doing most of this you know he has wearied us out you know with his laws and his wickedness you know now we're being wearied out we can't walk if we don't take his if we don't bow to his image if we don't take his juice we can't walk man you know this man is wearing us out man he has changed the times he has changed the days you know the most High has given us the moon as a sign of, of, of months he has given us the sun as time you know he has changed everything he has named the calendar after his different deities you know he has named the names after his different demonic gods that he worshipped you know he's speaking blasphemous things like he is he, 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 he is the inventor of everything he is the most intelligent man you know and he calls the saints of the most high he covered their eyes just like the book of job says you know he speaks evil about the, the, the saints. He calls us, he calls us all different kinds of names and he lays over all different kinds of accusations against us. The most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai needs to come back and save us from this man's hand. Because if, he, if the most high doesn't come to do this, man, we are all done. We are all true, man. 
That's why it's important you have this truth. That's why it's important you seek the coming of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Trying to cover this camera because it gets hot and it stops working, so I don't want it to overheat. So that's why we should we should be seeking the return of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to come and redeem us from this place, man. This place is dead, man. This place is there is nothing in this place. Get in the book of um, Malachi. Is it for you say um, your rest is not here, you know? Micah, sorry. Okay. Book of Micah. Okay. This is Micah 2, verse 1. Was it 2, verse 1? Okay, you're 10. So you may say, here is not your rest. Here is not your rest. Yeah, it's down. Down. Okay, this is. Wait, wait, no one. This is Micah 2, verse 10. Arise you and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Can. This place is polluted. And those who are willing to continue living in this place, they will be destroyed, okay? With a so they will be destroyed, man, with a wicked destruction. This place is polluted. There is no justice in this place. There is nothing right about this place, you know? They've done every abominable thing that man can imagine, you know? And look, I was watching, um, I don't know who I was watching. Was it the elder Yashawamba? You know, he made, he made mention of something. You know, he was speaking about this wickedness in this, in this, in this society. We were speaking about the wickedness of this so-called white man and he said um now we are complaining about things that we, we we can only see because the man has destroyed the air he has destroyed water he has contaminated he destroyed everything but when he said he said something that i don't really know how to put it in words he said um he said when the most eye opens our eyes we will need new bodies in order to be able to stand because when this the real wickedness of this man shall be revealed, we will not be able to stand with this normal body. Because the wickedness will be so wicked and evil, you know. This man has done things that are way more than your imaginations, you know. What you imagine is just um, the, the few things that we imagine, you know. But this man has been doing so many wickedness, you know, that we cannot imagine, you know. Keep reading. So This is First Peter 4, verse 7. For the end of all things is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Can the end of all things is just right at hand now. The end of this kingdom is at hand. The end of whatever you can be thinking of, the end of your careers or whatever, this is the end of this kingdom, man. Now get the book of um is it the book of um second Ezra, chapter 14, that speaks about the time. That it says that 10 parts, 10 parts of the time is gone. It says, um, wait, I'll get it. I'll get it. Second book of Ezra. It's 14, you know. He said the 10th part is gone. 14, 11. For the word is the. Okay, let me. Let me I should read it. No. Hold it, hold it, unlock. I want you to go back and read what you just read in that book of uh, Peter. Because there is a reason why I brought that that scripture, you yeah, know. First Peter 7. Can. Okay, this is First Peter chapter 4, verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be you there for sober and watch unto prayer. Can, as I was saying, the end of all things is at hand. And this end has already really been very, very close at the time of Yahusha. Yahusha already was preaching of the end, that we are in the last generations, you know. Now, let's get to the book of um, 2 Ezra chapter 14. This is 2 Ezra chapter 14, verse 11. For the world is divided into 12. Okay, he can. Parts. He said, for the world is divided into 12 parts. Okay. And so, the, okay, go on. And the 10 parts, and the 10 parts of it are gone already. Okay. And half of 10 parts. Okay, so the world is divided into 12 parts. 10 and half of that part had already gone during the time of, um, of, of, of Ezra, you know? 
and this is speaking about roughly just don't don't take me serious roughly about 500 to no almost a thousand years you no know, 700 years ago you know so it's telling you that 12 a 10 and a half part is already gone so what was left was just two and a half yes. part yes. you know so now it's just to tell you that we are actually just at the absolute end and if you're not saying this thing the most high has purposely blinded you not to see it you know so now that this is the end of the end can this is the end of the end so now what, what what are you meant to do now it's time to be sober you know now let's go into the root word of that sober because it's going to be nice we bring let me go to the kjv to be in a mind of seriousness kind of mind of you know seriousness looking out looking around you you know uh, uh, redeeming the time can. Even, you know like a fisherman i think at 5 15. 5 15 can. Yeah. this is this is the book of um sorry this is the word sober if you go to the to the strongs it tells you so friend so for now so for now now and these words you know it makes me think think about the word soft to suffer okay so free rain in the word italian okay and it tells you to be of sound mind okay to be in one's right mind to exercise self-control and what happens when you're actually in, in when you are suffering you're not at the ease of everything you know you are at you're actually at the right mind you're being disciplined your, and the word discipline comes from the word disciple you know you're becoming a disciple you're actually at to be of a sound mind to be in one's right mind to exercise self-control to put a moderate estimate upon oneself think of oneself soberly to curb one's passion now i want to see the meaning of that word curb Sorry, Bob. I just want to see that meaning of that word, you know, because I'm curious, you know, as our as our elders and apostles have taught us to to seek out, you know, the meaning of words, you know, you learn a lot from child. You learn you learn a lot from going through the to the through the meaning of words, you know. What's this? All this advert. Mamma mia. Want to the water. Curb, curb. Align, to align, to adjust. Wow. To restrain, to put yourself in check, man. So this word, this word is really deep, man. To be spiritually sober. Can this is the time to be spiritually sober? You know, to put yourself in check. You know, to be in the right mind and pray. You know, because these days that are coming are really wicked. You know. Go on to them that, 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 that seek the, the day of the Lord, you know, as it is written, just paraphrasing, you know, because the day of the Lord is nothing but darkness and, and destruction, man. You should be praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to protect you from the destruction. It is, a, it is a very, very bad and evil thing to fall into the hands of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know. I have a precept. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Can. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Okay, now we are mourning, man. We're suffering, man, in this kingdom because we've refused to have that comfort that is going to take away our lives, you know. We are in mourning, man. Learning this truth, you know, it heavies our heart, man. It weighs on our heart. You know, we are praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to come quickly and destroy this place. We can't stand this place anymore. But the fools, their hearts are in the heart of myth. Okay, it is the time they are enjoying themselves. You know, traveling all places, making merry. You know, partying. You know, thinking that nothing is going to happen. Trying to invest more money to become more rich, trying to become famous, and all these things. You know. This is not the right time. There is a time for everything, man. 
this is not the right time to do certain things. This is not the right time to start believing maybe, uh, maybe you can make some money out of this, this pandemic or whatever and all these things, you know? You should walk as a wise man, man. Go on. To continue on first paper. Yes. Okay, let me read uh, this one again. This is First Peter 4, 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore, be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Damn. And above all things, have prevent charity among yourself. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Damn. And you know what charity is, you know? Helping your brothers in need, you know? Being charitable. Charity covers a multitude of sin, you know? Charity is an act of love, you know? When you have a brother in the truth that is, you know, that is needy, that is going through certain things, this is the time you should be helping your brothers, man, you know? This is the time you should be helping your brothers because this is going to cover a lot of sins, man, from you. The Most High looks at everything. He says, what's that scripture that he says, um, you've, you've given me when I was thirsty, you've you know the scripture, you know? You fed me when I was hungry. When I was hungry. I think it's... Some of you are mad you and some of you Yeah, can. We need to get that scripture because it flows flows really well okay, Matthew 25 31 can Matthew 25 we start from 31 can okay this is the this is the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 when the son of man shall come in his glory and all and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Can this is talking of Yahweh Shai when he comes down with his holy angels, you know. And this angel is talking of Angel Michael. He's talking about you know other angels that are not told to us, and also you know those who, who, who are his saints that died for this truth, you know. When they come back, Yahweh Shai shall sit upon the throne of his glory, you know. Because when he comes back, he's going to be the commander of everything. He's going to be the head of everything. And the, the, the hierarchy is going to be the Most High Yahweh, then Yahweh Shai, then you have King David, then you have the Twelve, and the rest of the 144, then you have the one third of the house of the elect. Keep reading. 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Can everybody all nations all tongues everybody shall be gathered before the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know and it's talking about you know the tribes of israel that are dispersed in all parts of the world you know all israelites of all nations shall be gathered before him okay and he shall separate them one from another as the shepherd divided his sheep from the goat and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goat on the left then shall the king say unto them, unto them on, unto them on his right hand, Come you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For Can. I was hungry, and you gave me meat. Can. So the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Yahushai is going to separate us, you know. You definitely want to be on the side of the sheep, you don't want to be the goats, you know. You definitely want to be on the right hand side, okay. Now, what did he say? He said, you have, you, I was hungry and you fed me. Keep reading. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. He, okay. I was a stranger and you took me in. Can. So he said, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, you took me in. Okay, let's keep reading. Naked and naked and you clothed me. Okay. I was sick and you visited me. Okay. I was in prison and you came unto me. Okay. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hunger, and feed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? Can. So, Yahweh is going to tell the saints, 
all these things. I was sick, you, you, you cured me. I was hungry, you fed me, you know. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. You gave me all these things. You did all these things to me. Then the people are going to wonder, but when did we do all these things to you, you shy, you know. People are going to wonder, when did we do all these things to you? Now keep reading. 38, when saw we... Okay, I've read this before. Sorry, 39. Okay, let me read it again. 38, when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee, 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, In so much as you have done it unto one of the least of those my brethren, you have done it unto me. Can. So as I was saying, we're going to be asking Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Yahweh Shai Ratazah, we're going to be part of that number. But when did we do all these things to you? It's going to say, As you have done it to any least of those brethren, of your brothers, of the house of Israel, you know. As you have helped them, as you have helped your brethren, you have done it to me. So whatever good you do to a brother in this truth, you know, whatever assistance you do to a brother in this truth, you're not doing it for him. You're doing it for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai sees every, every, every of our deeds. All our deeds shall come into light, you know. Every wickedness that we've thought in our hearts will be brought to light. Every good we've done is going to be, is going to be brought to light, you know. The Most High Yahweh sees everything, when he sees everything. You have the chariots that you can't see because these chariots they have special powers they can become like the skies they are watching all over you all the days all time you know you can't see them but they are right there they are recording every single thing that you do and so that goes back to that charity that we're speaking of you know charity covers a multitude of sins you know so if you do all these right things you know if you treat your brother the way you treat yourself love your brother the way you love yourself of the household of Israel, you know, we shouldn't be hypocrites, you know. It's talking about within the household of Israel, you know, and brothers in the truth. You know, there is also the scripture that tells you you shouldn't help a wicked man, you yeah, know. You shouldn't help a wicked man because some people, you help them to, to their destruction, you know. So you help those who truly want that help, you know, those who are sincerely seeking this truth, who are doing the right thing. You know, yeah. and if you see the, the people on the street, you know, that, 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 that are hungry, you know, if the spirit leads you to help somebody, man, you help the person, you know, this covers a multitude of sin. Okay, let me read for you. This is Ecclesiastical Sirach, chapter 12, verse 5. Do well unto him that is lonely, but give not to the ungodly. Just what you just said. Can. This is what I said now. You know, we need to know who we're giving our help to. It especially says, in this time. Especially in this time. He said, do well to him who is lowly, you know, and don't help the wicked, you know. Exactly. Because you see in this kingdom, it is easier for people to help the wicked than to help the just. Because when they see that you're rich, if you, they, they, there is a video I watched, they did, um, they did a test, they did a test, a social experiment, okay, a rich man, you know, having a baby, you know, so he came. Rich dad. He, yeah, he like did. He, he reached that. Thank you. He came down with his baby. You know, came out of a Ferrari, and he went to people on the street, and he was like, "Hey, can you lend me some some dollars? You know, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, I can't. I don't have my money on me on stocks like that. You know, and this man got a lot of money. People helped him. You know, but when they see those lowly people who are actually living in rags on the streets, they tell them, "Hey, go find yourself a job." They kick them and they spit on them and they tell them all sorts of wickedness. This is the wickedness of this kingdom, man. It is easy to do good to the wicked than to do to the righteous, you know. Because what do people want? People do good so for tomorrow they can gain, they can gain something. That is the reason why they do this good, you know. But the righteous do things not thinking of tomorrow. Because he knows whatever he does, he does it for the most high, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. You have anything you can yeah. join, man. That was why Yahweh Shai uh, said that when they slap you on this cheek, you turn, know, to, the you cheek, turn to the other cheek. If you do good to them that do good, what you know, what reward have you? You know, this is why Yahweh Shai actually said what he said in that scripture. I think it was uh, somewhere in Matthew. Can. So let me continue. It says, Sirach 12 5. Do well unto him that is lonely, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee. Thereby, for us, thou shalt receive twice as much evil. 
for all thy good that I shall have done unto him. Can, and that is exactly what happens if we really want to go into deep details about it. You know, that's what happens, man. You lend to these people, and the day you ask them for the money, you become their enemy. You know, you become their enemy. Because they be like, hey, you're disrespecting me. Can't you wait? I'm going to give you blah, 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 you know? So that's why when you do good, man, you do it for, for, for the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. This is the charity speaking of, you know? You do it to those who truly need this, this good, you know? Those who are lowly, you know? Those are the people you should be helping, you know? The brothers in the troop, you know? The people that are, some people that are, you know, on the streets, you know, without food or anything. Anyhow the Spirit leads you, you know, you do this help, man. And everything will be counted unto you for righteousness, you know? It covers a multitude of sin. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back to First Peter chapter 4, verse 8. And above all things, have favor and charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sin. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Can. So if you have problem with any brothers, you know, this is not the right time should be, you should be carrying grudges in your heart, you know. And many people are fond of that. It's better, it's better to speak to your brother, you know, clear out the bad hair that is between you. If, they, if your brother does anything wrong to you, there is a scripture that tells you before you come to pray or offer your sacrifice, you know, you should be at peace with your brother, you know. How can you be praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai then you're carrying grudges towards your brother? How? And this is the right time that you need to start checking yourself because these are the last minutes, these are the last seconds, you know. These are the last microseconds of this kingdom, man. This is not the time you should be messing around, man. You should be checking yourself every, every, every day, every minute, every hour. You should be checking yourself if you're in the right mind, if you're in the right spirit. Because demons are jumping on people lately. Demons are jumping on different people, you know. People are bugging out and people is just, just the beginning of people getting to bug out. People are going to bug out the more because as soon as Esau starts, you know, um, tightening up, you know, the, the chain supply, as it starts you know tighten up with these draconian laws you know people are going to start bugging out the more people are going to get crazy the more now what's the book of um is it second ezra that speaks that you know he says no even matthew tells you you know people's eye your your, your brother's eye is going to evil going to be evil against you you know in which i wanted us to go into that book of ezra but you know i don't know if if it is going to be possible it's like you have any and this also goes back to the camp you know many people get many people get chastened by the word you know instead of them you know taking the good out of this chastening chastisement because these words actually are given to us to chasten to reprove you know when some brothers get reproved demon falls on them instead of them to become better brothers they become worse than before, you know? And they think they are praying and they, they must tell Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to listen to your prayers, man. This is folly. This is crazy, man. So many people are going to be reproved lately, but don't take it as evil. You take it for correction, you know? You take it for correction. If you have problems with any brother, you know, you walk up to him, you speak to him that what's the problem that we have, is there any problem? Then you go and pray to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and your prayers will be answered. But if you keep grudges in your heart against the brother and you go to pray without telling that brother, you know, the Most High don't, don't play like that, you know? Wait. So this, this, this is a precept from what you're saying. This is 1 John 3, verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Can. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And this brings to my mind Cain and Abel, you know. Cain had grudges towards his brother, you know, and he wanted to offer sacrifices, you know. The Most High is not going to accept such sacrifice. So, hey, if you have any problem with your brother, you know, you resolve these problems first before you go back to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for your prayers to be answered. Wait. So, question from First uh, Peter. Yes. Okay, let me read it again. Use hospital. This is First Peter 4 verse 9. Use hospitality. You can use hospitality. If your brother, you see your brother is, you know, is homeless. Your brother in this truth is catching some hell because it is, it is expedient, you know. Many brothers are going to be catching hell in these days, man. Many brothers are going to lose their jobs, you know. This is the time 
you should start, you know, laying your treasures in 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 in, 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 the, heavenly in, in the heavenly hand, you know. This is the time you should start laying your treasures. Start doing these things and put let it be in your mind that you're doing it for the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And when Yahushai returns, he's going to have mercy on your soul, man. You should be hospitable to your brothers, you know. You can't have a brother who is homeless, then you're living in a house all by yourself just because you want to be by yourself. You don't want to help your brother, man. The most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to punish you for that. But then, you know, you do all this with wisdom, praying and counseling. You know, don't be quick to, don't be quick to credit a friend. Don't be quick to credit a brother, you know. You need to study these people first. Understand what kind of people they are, you know. Prove him. Prove him, you know. Okay. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. As, as good steward of, of the manifold, manifold of grace Christ. of Yahweh. Can. Because this truth, we've all received this truth freely, you know? Yeah, scripture says freely all, you receive, freely you Freely shall you give. receive, freely you give, man, you know? We should minister one to another, you know, as stewards of the manifold of grace, you know? I want to see what the, the root word of steward there, you know? The word steward goes to oikonomos. Wow! Oikonomos, which is very, very close to, to the word um, oikonome, you know. It says, a manager of the household of, of household affairs, especially a steward, manager, superintendent, whether freeborn or as was usually the cause, a free man or a slave to whom the head of the house or proprietor has instructed the management of his affairs, the care of receipts. And expenditures and the duty of dealing out the proper portion of every servant and even to the children not yet of age the manager of a farm or landed estate or an overseer you know the apostles and other christian teachers and bishops and overseers you know what did the I say he say he who is great amongst you should be uh, should be should be should be the lowest man yeah, should just be the paraphrase servants. should be the servants you know so the more you have in this ministry the more you have to give to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh The more you humble yourself. The more you humble yourself, man. If you, if you, if you, if you, if the most high has blessed you with much money, with much understanding, you need to humble yourself and be a servant to the brothers. You know. That was why Yahweh Shai was the feet of the disciples. Not to show them how to serve. Can. Yahweh Shai was the feet of his of his apostles. You know. Yeah. Even gave them. I think he said that uh, uh, six, among six. the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles. They rule over them. I mean, their leadership. They rule over the, the lonely one. But you know, in this side, by Vasa, uh -huh. you know. So for this time, actually, and truly, we really want to be different from the world, you know, because this world, this truth, what does it do? You know, it changes you. It makes you become a new man. You know, we don't want to be hypocrites like the rest of the world, like in Nigeria, for example, because that's the part of the world we come from. Even if we're living here in Italy, you know, these people. These pastors, you know, they have private jets. These pastors, they have schools that their members cannot afford to go into. And people are, are, people are running to them because of the money, because of the wealth they have. You know, people thought that uh, Heavenly Father is with them, you know, because of their riches. But they don't know that they, all these riches, they got it from the sheep. They, they, they actually sheep, they got it man, from that is people. total wickedness, man. Yeah. You you need to see how these things happen. Yeah, that, you know, you have picture. you have pastors who have you know mansions, who have universities and schools, but the members of their churches cannot afford to go to these schools and universities because they are too expensive. You know, you have pastors who move around with bodyguards, you know, harmed bodyguards, you know move around in Rolls Royce, Bentleys and all this, you know, different... You have pastors who have multiple private jets, man. This is the way of the world. That's how you know that there is no truth in these people, you know. Yahweh Shai says, whoever amongst you is great, let him be, let him be the servant of the rest, you know, just paraphrasing, yeah, you know. Go on. Yeah, like a, like a Suleiman, the one they call Apostle Suleiman. I, 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 speak I have out, seen, speak out. I have seen, I have seen him going with a bodyguard. You know, and it's not the only one, all of them, Pastor Chris, Oyedipo and all those people. They all go around with bodyguards, man. 
<laughs> and the people of the church. <laughs> Where is the Holy Spirit? Where is the protection of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai if you're going around with bodyguards and all this? The pastor things? going around with bodyguards. Or did you see Yahweh Shai going around with bodyguards? And not just bodyguards, full armed men. Full armed men. Military men. Military men, man. <laughs> <laughs> there is even a video that is very, very. You know, someone someone posted a photo, you know, of one of these top prominent pastors. I can't remember his name. I think oh, is it Father Mbaka or so. Yeah, he had the military behind him, you know, the army, and what the army was doing was to carry his back. <laughs> 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 well, it's funny. You know, it's funny. And if you go to do, if you go to all these churches now, what they are telling them, they are praying for Heavenly Father to make things, you know, to bring peace. They're praying for Heavenly Father to bring prosperity and yeah, money. Yeah, prosperity. This is all they preach. This is all These people are blind. No? So, they don't, they don't tell our people the reason why they are suffering. They don't tell our people the, the reason why they are called Nigerians. You know, they don't speak according to the word. And we know what the scripture says. To the Lord, to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word. It's because there is no truth in them. There is no light in them. You know, but our people, you know, they don't want, when you go in, into the scripture, you become an enemy. You know? So well, shall we continue? In, yeah, let's continue. In, in first, first, first Peter, right? Time. Okay. Think this is First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God give it, that God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. Can. I'm up. You know, this is the spirit, man. You just said something. You just quoted the scripture um, to the law and to the testimony. They speak not according to this word. There is because there is no spirit in them. There is no light in them. There is no truth in them. You know, if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So if anyone comes your way, not speaking according to what's written in this book, there is no light. There is no truth in that person. Now let's go to the root word of oracle. Which goes to log log John, log logion, logion, okay? Which sounds like legion. It says, a brief alterance, a divine oracle, doubtless, because oracles were generally brief. In the New Testament, the words of alterance of the power, of the content of the mosaic law. You see, so if they speak not according to these laws, according to the spirits, you know. Because you have the spirit of truth and the spirit of lie, you know. So these false prophets, what the Most High has done is he has permitted the demon to give them a lying tongue, you know. So they speak only lies, man. Everything they speak is lies. So if they speak not according to this oracle, you know, according to the ministry of how it has been in these scriptures, you know, that's because there is no truth and there is no light in them, you know. You should flee away from such people. You should flee away from such doctrines, man. And we're saying all these things because this is the time, man, we all need to start checking ourselves, man. We need to be checking ourselves because there is no longer time. We are at the end of the end. Yahweh Shai is at the door, he's returning, he's coming very soon. And he's not coming to, to, to share some Kit Kat or Snickers to everybody. He's coming to destroy. He's not coming to embrace everybody. You know, hopefully with the elects, we're going to embrace it. We're going to get the, 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 the opportunity to embrace Yahweh Shai. And we're praying, you know, humbly to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that we are counted part of that number. Hopefully, hopefully we might get to kiss his feet, you know. But the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is not coming to hug the world, man. It's coming with destruction. It's coming with a sword. It's not coming with a box of chocolates, man. Wait. So I have a picture like yes, she was saying, you know, regarding to the to all, all these false uh, pastors, you know, in Nigeria they have been teaching our people how to, you know, prosperity, how to make it, you know, if you are poor, they'll, they'll tell you it's because of your sin, you know. Because you're not working in Or all. because you're not working or you're not hard working, you know. So, but, but they, don't go, they don't go to the root word of the scripture. They don't know the time. They don't know, you know, what the scripture is all about. They are blind. They are blind. The scriptures say, when the blind lead the blind, both fall into, into the ditch. ditch. You know, they don't speak according to this word, like Isaiah said. You know, this is, this is uh, John chapter 3, verse 34. For he whom God has sent speaketh the word of God. For God giveth not the spirit by 
measure unto him. You know, they don't speak according to the life, to the word. You know? So they keep telling our people, like if you go to this Christianity now, for example, when you, they, they all put on masks. I mean, it's madness. How can you go to the uh, uh, proclaimed house of God and you are still afraid, you are scared. You are scared of contacting your neighbor. You are scared of contacting somebody inside the so-called house of, house of God. Man, it makes no sense. This is crazy. This is what we are dealing with in these churches, you know. I have, when I, when I was coming to this, I have a friend, my neighbor, you know, in Nigeria. When I got, when I, when I, I, I know this, I started speaking to him through on Facebook. Could you imagine that this, this brother blocked me because what I was telling him, I was trying to tell him, look, this Bible is talking of us. This is us. We are not Nigerians. You know, this is who we are. The next thing, the <laughs> I was very surprised. The, the, the guy blocked me. But that was then. You know, imagine a little, I was so excited, you know, knowing this truth. I was so excited, like, you know, being an Israelite. You know, you know what it means to be an Israelite. I was very, very excited. So then I was like reaching out to everybody I knew, you know, family, friends. I was trying to, man, look, look, this is what I knew. That was then. I, I didn't even know much. You know, I was, I was still like a baby. You know, but the guy blocked me. He don't want to hear. He said no. So I'm crazy. I'm going out. <laughs> right. Oh man. This is the book of Romans, chapter eleven. This is the book of Romans, chapter eleven, verse eight. It quotes. According as it is written. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Okay? Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their back away, away, always. Okay? Yeah. So the most high Bashem Yahashai has given these pastors and all these people who don't see this truth, he has given them eyes that they can't see and ears that are deaf that they can't hear. You know, it's the doing of the most high Bashem Yahashai. Because you know, this truth is given to a chosen few and not given to the to everybody, you know. As it is written, many are called, but few are chosen, you know. And this truth is also being a stumbling block to many people, you know. There are certain things in this truth that have been stumbling blocked to many people. So I have a one piece of Go, go. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Can. Can. It is, it is eating to those, read it again, please. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That are lost, go on. In whom the God of this world has blinded the mind Can. of in them who whom, believe not God of this world. In whom the God of this world Esau. has blinded their eyes. In whom Esau has blinded their eyes, you know. They want to save their jobs. Esau has blinded your eyes. You're going after a career in 2021. October 2021, you're going after a career, trying to make it, trying to build a house, trying to have some money in your account, man. You're blinded by Esau. You're still going after other people's wives, you know, stealing, you know, eating pork. You're blinded by Esau. So you see, this truth is just like, you know, there is a scripture that says, you know, wash them with high soap, you know. This truth washes you clean. That is why, that is where the word baptism comes from. You know, you're baptized by the truth of this word, man. This word washes you clean. You become a new person, you know. So you're not living the same life that those people are living. So let them be, let them speak. Let them speak evil about you. Let them revile about you. Let them laugh at you. Let them say crazy things about you, you know? Yeah, I have one question. Because regarding what you were saying before, earlier, how we started. Right now, the scripture said, and I think Apostle Paul said, no need to write of you. I think First Thessalonians 4. 
Okay, so you already know the time, you know, meaning we already know what the scriptures say, know the time and season when you are living and what to do and what not to do, you know. So this is First Timothy chapter 6, verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and remnant, let us be Yahweh content. Right. Not the content Man, is, they, know, this, this is all this is what we needed at this point in time you know knowing the time and season knowing what is going on now like for example now in italy here right now if you don't have the juice you can walk for those who have work you know you can walk you can do nothing you can't even enter inside the train so this is to tell you that some, this is not life this is not normal you know something is really going on we are living in the end of the end so as the scriptures say that and having food and remnant, let us be there with content. Meaning let us be content with what we have. Can, you can, know, if we, have, if we can be able to have food now, you know, have oil, something that will go inside us. You know, that, that's all head. we have. We have to lay your head. This is all. This is what we, you know, this is what we pray for. This is why our child says that, uh, 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 give us this day our daily, bread. our daily bread. You know, this is the time. Actually, this is the time. This word is really speaking. You know really meant to be i believe can't, can't, this time can't. this is when we you know ought to pray for this prayer seriously because a time will come where they, you can't even go into supermarket and buy something you know a time will come what you'll be craving for is just a glass of water and yeah. a piece of bread <laughs> so you should be praying for your daily bread daily now bread. <laughs> but our people don't know all these things they see you know there's a clip you showed me was it this morning or yesterday a, yes. a, a, a group a, a very huge line of people uh, uh, queuing up to get um, what do they call it? Uh, the testing. swab. The yeah, swab. the testing in the their mouth, in their nose, so that they can continue their job. And mind you, this test is just for I think for 20, two hours. Forty two hours. Forty two hours. After forty two hours, you you get another one. You may imagine, man, this is crazy. And you know, it's by the spirit that you said this because yesterday we, I showed you this video. You know, trying to let you understand that you know, Esau lies about everything. You know. Yeah. So on the TV, you see Esau has a huge number of people who have been juiced up. Those who have subscribed to the juice works, okay? Those who have, who have, who have mated with Vanessa, yeah. you know? So Esau writes a huge number to compel the other people to go and sleep with Vanessa, in which it's a lie, man. We have a huge queue of people, you know, lining up. Lining, man, to I was like, what's going on? They prefer to take the swab than to take the juice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a huge amount of people who know about this truth that this juice works is a wicked device. and devilish device straight from the gates of hell you know just saying you know hell does not exist you know this, the, 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 your state of living in this place is hell we are living in hell now you know just using the word like that you know so, you know, but the jakes around us, the jakes who are amongst us, those are the most stupid of all because jakes are just lining up, you know, pulling up their sleeves and getting juiced up because they want to continue their jobs. You know, they're scared of what they will eat tomorrow. They're scared that they want to always look good and have the Versace and all kinds of, you know, the Gucci, you know. They, they, want, they want to be okay. They don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to carry their cross, man. The cross seems like it's too heavy for them, you know. And woe unto those men who has dropped their crosses, you know, and gone after the way of Esau. Woe unto you. Destruction is coming to you, you know, because you need to carry your cross as Yahushua has carried his cross, you know. The servant is not better than the, than, than the master, you know. So I think we should just, you know, because this scripture, we, have, we still have a lot to go through in the book of... Let me, let me read this one. Let me finish with uh, uh, go, go, go. verse 9. Yeah, continue from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful laws, which draw men in destruction and perdition. Can. And this is exactly what's making the difference now, you know, because many people, they want to protect the riches that they have in this kingdom, you know. So that riches has drawn them into destruction, you know. Now think of think of this, you know. Let it marinate for a second. When the MO comes out, you know, which is the you know the karagma, when it comes out, in which they're already speaking about it in the parliament of the European Union, okay. 
I saw a video yesterday, or day before yesterday, the president of um, the prime minister of um, of Italy, Draghi, Mario Draghi. You know, he's already speaking about you know digitalizing everything. He's already speaking about a sort of microchip. You know, now the question is, when it comes, you know, and you have millions in your accounts, what are you going to do? Are you going to let those millions go, or you just go line up, get the mo, so you can you know retain your money you can see what the scripture is actually and that's talking the, the scripture is being clear it's being clear day by day we are because you know it. this riches is going to be a snare to many people many yeah. people are going to line up queue down to go get that thing because of their riches of they course. can't let it go they've worked all their lives to have these millions in their accounts you know then all of a sudden they, they need to let everything go that is why the scripture says you know for it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man you know yeah I should stop there or just finish for the love of money. You know, the ten. Can't, can't read it. Finish it, finish it. Yeah. The, the, the verse 10 said that for the love of money is the root of all evil. Remember, not, not money. The love of money. You know, like for example now, a lot of our people have come across this knowledge, you know, this wisdom. They have known that, look, this, you know, this wisdom has been revealed to them. But... For the fact that they want to keep their internal riches, they, 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 they prefer to take the juice in order to keep this money, you know? So, because they don't have faith. Scripture said that a, a just man shall live by faith. You know, this is the time we ought to live by faith. We got to move by faith, but... Uh. So, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Which, why some converted after they, that they have erred, from the faith and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. You know, a lot of people are sick now because of these Jews, because they want to continue living, so-called living. So this, this is not living. Read that verse again, please. No, that's ten. He said, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which why some converted after they have erred from the faith and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. Can they have pierced themselves through with many sorrows? And what's the sorrow? The sorrow of struggling to get this money. And you know, to keep it. To get this money. You know, to get this money is not easy. So they've given themselves a walk of sorrows, you know, trying to pile up this money. They've pierced themselves through with many sorrows, you know. They err from the faith and go extra mile by going to do wicked things you know piercing themselves through with many sorrows to get this money many people have sacrificed their friends to be a, 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 a big rapper you know many people have sacrificed everything that they have to be a rapper you know just like now people are sacrificing their life to continue their jobs you know they sacrifice their lives their health, their well-being, just to, to continue going to Esau's, Esau's job, man. This is madness. If it is not madness, then what it is? What is it? So, hmm? what do you think? You should read a little more in the book. You should wrap it. Anyway, we hope to have made the point. We actually wanted to go through, you know, the whole book of... Um, of you know first peter 4 you know hopefully next week you know or maybe during the week you know i could do a lesson you know so you know we hope this lesson was edifying you know we hope we actually got to the point because the main point we're trying to make is hey now this is you know read the book of um read the book of that micah that says you know this is not your rest so we can close with that scripture you know this place is not our rest you know all hell is about to break loose Yahweh Shai is about to return with a wicked sword in his hand, you know, destroying those who hate him, you know. So this is not the time you should be trying to save your life, you know, by getting this, um, this, this Vanessa works and bowing down to the MO, which is the next step. You know, this is the time you should be living as pilgrims. This is the time you should forsake all these things and pray for his kingdom to come and pray for his salvation. Pray to witness his salvation, you know. Please read. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise you and depart, for this is not your rest. 
because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Can arise ye and depart, you know, depart spiritually, that's what he's speaking. Depart from the ways of Esau, depart from the ways of Babylon. This is not your rest, it shall pollute you. So having said this, we hope this was edifying and would like to give all praises to the Most High. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us this truth, which is the unrepresented truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects of Yashar Allah, Israel, you know, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Hey, hold on strong. We are actually at the end of the race. And we are, we are, we are, we are, we are more than conquerors, you know. Yahawashai got our back, you know. So, to the next one, Shalom. Shalom.